Um, Maharshi, it's very difficult for some people in this country to understand how it can be that people who are being quiet and meditating um, could also have this effect on the Persian Gulf. My editor um, said to me something like, but if it doesn't move, it's not real, it's not happening. To have, <laughs> and I don't personally believe this, but this is the perception that if there's to have a result, there must be an action. And it's hard for people to understand that you can just be quiet and not move. <laughs> no, no, this quiet. Explain how that connection could happen. Yes, 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 yes. I think the argument is very, very right. That there must be something to move in order something to happen. Uh -huh. Now, now what moves in this case, in our case, what moves is the unified field of natural law. You know, inside there is a source of thought. Every thought comes up, comes up, comes up. So we say there is a level of intelligence, and that is the transcendental intelligence, transcendental consciousness, which is quiet in itself and absolutely unmanifest. Nothing happens there. But what happens when the attention reaches there, mm -hmm. like the quiet surface of the lake, and one little pebble touches that, we throw a pebble, and suddenly ripples move throughout the lake. Mm -hmm. So this transcendental meditation ultimately results in opening to the level of peace, absolute peace. But because it's the attention that reaches that ocean of peace, it does enliven the ocean of peace. There is a scientific theory, it's called measurement theory. Measurement theory says, wherever attention goes, attention does something to that object. So in this case, attention goes to the transcendental consciousness, a silent ocean of intelligence. And then, attention touching, touching it, the mind reaching it, enlivens it. And because that level of intelligence is at the basis of everything in the universe. So we say, it's the common basis of all life, it's the common basis of all activity in nature. So when that gets enlivened, then what gets produced is field effect, field effect. This is Maharshi effect, people like to call it. So the field effect is a dynamic effect caused by the uh, stir of... Caused by the what? Uh, ca caused by the dynamism or caused by the stir that the quietening mind makes on that ocean of quietness. In, medita in meditation, it's quietly mind becomes quieter and quieter and quieter and quieter. At the last point of quietness, it just splashes, it flashes that level of silence. And, and when in a group, many individuals are doing it, so that whole area in which the whole group is sitting becomes a very lively uh, field of enlivening that, what we say, unified field of natural law or transcendental consciousness. In the Vedic terminology, we say the field of Sanjita. Sanjita is togetherness of the fundamental values of intelligence, the observer, observed, and process of observation. So it's a very fundamental level of intelligence that wakes up, so to say, or it gets inspired by the process of transcending, which is the process of quietening down the mind, reaches 
increasingly quiet levels of awareness and then gets to that level of awareness which is absolutely quiet and but this field effect takes the influence of peace throughout nature that means all the laws of nature become lively in their evolutionary quality you know natural law is both ways it's destructive also it's uh, constructive also it's evolutionary also so the evolutionary value becomes lively and that is the field effect that one experiences in the trends in different parts of the world becoming more coherent negativity uh, becoming less positive trends growing more and more so this is the phase transition from destructive capabilities to constructive and nourishing capabilities N- nourishing capabilities so this is our uh, coherence creating program of these world peace assemblies and super radiance super radiance we call it one is radiance and the other is super radiance super radiance is the same as radiance but from that level which we say a field of infinite correlation that transcendental consciousness that level of intelligence is absolutely the same throughout infinity throughout nature so any influence created on that level just instantly reaches everywhere this is our super radiance program and this is the theory of it very we see it very clearly and very because that level is the level of intelligence which maintains order in all activity in nature the infinite diversity of the universe is sustained by that absolute order on that level so this eternal silence is the source or is the base of that infinite dynamism of the universe so all the dynamism of the universe can be infinite only based on infinite silence so on this level there is a balance between infinite dynamism of of the whole creation on infinite silence at the unmanifest basis of all creation so when many people do it together then the influence is very powerful so we say many people sitting together enliven the unified field of natural law and this does the rest of all harmony and positivity and the whole it's very scientific it's very scientific from both levels i've been speaking to people who've done some of the the studies in, in the last yes yes 